Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Life in with Stacy C. And yes, my name is Stacy. Um, so yeah, how are you all today? Are you good? I'm doing better. I'm doing pretty good. It's getting better. It's getting better. Um, yesterday, last night was horrible, but I did it to myself, so I can't be mad at anybody but me. Because yesterday was 314 day, right? Hmm. So I tried to walk 3.14 miles yesterday, right? I ended up doing 3.1. That was okay. That was good. I posted the video so you could all go over there and take a look at the video where I started out walking in the neighborhoods and I ended up just kept walking and walking and just ended up way beyond where I live at, right? So, but then that same day, you know, just go look at the video so you can see. Just look at the video. But uh, three point miles, I did like 7,000 and something steps yesterday. That was a lot. So I'm exhausted. I, I'm not walking today. I, I can't. My knees was like buckling. Though my knees are not mega knees, I can tell you that. It definitely is not. So I won't be doing that. Maybe I, I, no, I'm not going to do any exercise. I'm just going to rest because my body's tired. Because I think. That's why I was so, my blood pressure, well, let me tell you, because of 314, well, not because of 314, I just wanted to eat my pizza. Here in St. Louis, it is the best pizza in the world, right? And it, it, literally, it is. So, uh, I got me one, because they got, got them in the frozen section, so I had got some, as you've seen on my uh, grocery haul, I got that. And I was like, you know what? I'm only going to eat a slice. Mm, I ended up eating three slices. And what else did I have? I had a salad. You know, but with the cheese within itself, it's like salt and stuff, right? Blood pressure got up to 160. I feel, was feeling horrible. It was 168 over 112. I said, oh, no, you didn't, Stacy. So I got, a I got some PRN meds. So when it gets high like that. I can take it and it helped because my head was hurt. My then my allergies was real bad because of the who where I live at. It's so many flowers and stuff, and they're constantly planting stuff. And oh, my allergies was not happy with it at all. So I ended up being really, really sick that night. I slept right here on this blue couch, and then and then favor of the blue couch. Uh, yes, I got the blue, the blue bonnet on. So we're going to call this the blue couch shenanigans, okay? This is the blue couch shenanigans because we're about to do some shenanigans here. But anyway, end up eating that. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do what I did. Uh, yeah, I should have just not bypassed that and just had a salad. It was probably going to be, because I had Emo's cheese, so it wouldn't have probably spiked it up too much. Yeah, probably wouldn't spike it up too much. But, yeah, that was that. Uh, I think I ate some potato chips, too. Ooh, I wasn't supposed to. But I won't do that no more. I won't do that no more. Yeah, because it, it hurt me more than anything. But, yeah, that was my day yesterday. But I feel a lot better today. I had got up because I thought I had a Zoom meeting today at 12, but they took it off the schedule, thank God. So I've been sitting up in here, so <clears throat> I wash my hair, right? And I'm gonna post that video <clears throat> as well. I'm gonna post that video of me washing washing my hair. So excuse me, it, it's a time when I do that. <clears throat> so I have my bonnet on. But I also have these things right here uh that I'm going to show you all. And uh, give me one second to get up. Mm -hmm. And I use these when I go traveling, when I start traveling, which that's why I'm trying to organize them. So this is the first one. And I love BB, right? Love BB. So this is the first one. Um, this is the second one because it was a set. It came with the set, right? And where is the... Okay. This is right here and this one. 
So these two came in the set. I have bought this just for my travel when I go because, it, you know, they got them in pink. I just seen them in pink, but I'm a purple girl. Uh, and then I don't want this to get dirty. So black is always the better choice to just do things. So I got a lot of stuff in here. So when I travel, uh, I got a lot of in here now because I was just using it for storage. But yeah, so I'm going to be organizing these. And I also have this right here. So this has, you know, different compartments and stuff like that. And I'm not really a makeup girl, but when I do do my makeup and I start doing my fashion shows and I'm going to different events and all of that, then yeah, you know, you got to have your stuff. And my skin is so sensitive. I only use a certain brands of makeup. I used to use, um, excuse me, I'm just itching. Ooh. Okay, I used to use, um, what was it, uh, Bare Minerals. Uh, it was really expensive make makeup, <clears throat> but I felt that, you know, because it was expensive, it's better, had better ingredients, and whatever was in there, because it was natural stuff, it was breaking me out, so I had to stop, and, you know, it was a lot of money that I was spending on Bare Minerals, so I'm like, no, I'm just going to go ahead and stop using it. So I did, and I came across Black Radiance and Elf. I came across, I knew kind of sort of like uh, Black Radiance because I used to work at Walgreens and I was a co uh, uh, co cosmetology. They work with co cosmetics, a cosmetician. So I was the head <clears throat> in that department. So that's what I ran, uh, head cosmetician or whatever. So I had my own department and stuff. So my job was to make new inventory, to make all of that or whatever. So uh, I loved it too. You know, I was young. I loved it. Uh, I would tell people about fashion. So I've always liked fashion and all that. Never really been too much into makeup. But then when I do, I have, when I do get into makeup, uh, I want it to be like the perfect match. I don't want, I would tell the women that came in there and I'm like, well, how does this look? And I was like, you look like you're dead, unalive, I'm sorry. You look like um, you finna go to Ted Foster funeral home in uh, in a casket because you look burnt, you look red. You, it's not your skin color. It's not a good match for you. So I would match their skin tones, you know, to the right color. Because uh, I was like, I just couldn't do them like that. Because they was going around looking like they was Ted Foster ready. Mm -mm. I was like, now, nah, do you want me to be honest? Do you want me to tell you the truth? And they were like, yeah. I'm like, that's not for you. Mm -mm. It is just not for you. But I, I learned a lot, you know, in there. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> for me, and because I do model sometimes, and I do do fashion shows and go to different events, I usually bring my stuff myself. Now, my daughter usually does my makeup but i did have a makeup artist i don't know where she's at anymore because i haven't seen her but the picture that i showed you guys from when i modeled my profile picture well she was the one that beat my face like that right and she used to call me auntie and i can't think of her name at the moment but i met her on facebook and we kind of like clicked and uh no, I didn't meet her on Facebook. I was doing an event for the St. Louis Crisis Nursery. And we were up there. We had a women's spa day for the women and all of that. So we also had a women that wrote inspirational books. And, you know, for we had a boutique. It was out of Manchester. So they can come and they can get clothes and purses and different things like that. And we also had people there to, um, to you know, do makeup or whatever, right? To, you know, get makeovers in. They, they were like, uh, they asked me, well, since I was hosting it, you know, help hosting it, they was like, well, you want to do it? And I was like, well, I don't care because I had my hair, my natural hair in two French rolls going to the back, going to the side. And I think my sister, Lisa, if I'm not mistaken, was it Lisa or Tatiana? I think it was Tatiana that did the coin rolls she it was two coin rolls that i had right there so i was late i was a little late so i had went got into the shower and washed my hair and i just put two coin rolls in i said probably the air dry by the time i get there but i wasn't expecting to get made over i was just gonna go like that so i did and i went up in there and um 
yeah, so I went up in there and they did my face. And I think I have a picture of it. I'll show you guys. I'll find that picture. So I'll post it after this video, actually, of uh, the before. No, it wasn't a profile picture. No, no, let me. It wasn't a profile. That was a different event. But she was also my makeup artist for that, that event as well. So uh, it was because I had uh, the coin rolls or whatever. So I'll post, I think I had posted that picture before, but I'll post the before when I still had the braids and the after, because I took my hair down afterwards because I, I think I went somewhere afterwards or whatever, because I just had on some regular jeans and a t-shirt and that was it. So yeah, I was just like, I'm coming here, you know, to host it and end up getting the, the makeover done with the young ladies. And I got a couple of things out of there because we, she always, Diane would always insist on us to get something when we're going to these events or, you know, hosting these events. So um, I think I got a beautiful scarf that I still have. And that's in another picture that my sister Lisa, she did my makeup that night. And she wouldn't, she, you know, you know, and uh, she does makeup and all of that. And uh, she she did my my makeup for me that night, and I had went somewhere else. I think I went to a party that a friend had gave. So I'm organizing this is because I'm about to go to a lot of things, uh, starting probably maybe at the end of this month, next month, definitely in April. Uh, my birthday is in June, so. From that point on and up until August, I think, or whatever, I know I'm pretty booked. I'm going to be going in and out, uh, flying. I'm going to visit my daughter that's in Dallas. So it's just a lot of things that I'm going to be doing. So I wanted myself organized because I know any woman, you hate to be looking for things and you cannot find them when you need them. And I'm like, when I pack my bags, my suitcase, I have to have everything organized, right? Because it just... I don't know about you. Do you guys feel that way? That it's just like everything goes wrong when you don't have everything organized right. So I'm starting early, right? Well, I got some time. I'm starting early to have everything organized. Now, my, my baby will be here next month. Tatiana will be here next month. And she usually does my makeup. and so she, But she was like, Mom, you need to buy some more makeup because you don't got it now. She has it all. She knows her mom's been pretty much plain faced. If I am not doing something like doing a modeling event or event or something like that, I don't wear makeup. The, the, the most I may wear is lipstick or lip gloss, a little concealer. And I showed you guys that when I was getting ready to go to the pretty and pink party. I'm not a person that really knows how to do makeup. I would love to know how to do it. And that's one of my goals. Because I think as we get a little older, we need a little something, you know, to help us. But I'm not just, I'm not the makeup person. I've never been. I just felt that it was just too time consuming. I'm really into skincare, right? I'm really into that. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm into. But I'm going, you know what? New journey in life, new adventures. I'm going to learn some things and I'm going to show you guys. And if you all have some trips, tips, not trips. Put a comment down below so I can know, so I can see, or uh, or if you got any makeup artists out there, contact me. Contact your girl because I know. But I'm going to show you some of the things that's in my little bags that I forgot about. Because again, it's been one month and a couple of days since I have moved into this apartment, right? So I'm still sorting through things. It's stuff that I got that I know I didn't think I had because a lot of the stuff was in storage. So I'm just like rediscovering like those wigs that I had brought out. And baby, that wig that looked like the squirrel, I couldn't do nothing but lay off myself because I'm like, what did I do to this wig? That was so disrespectful of me. That little poor wig had went through it. It was like, girl, you ain't putting this back on. I know you lie. You ain't putting this back on, so... I don't know. I got to get me some more wigs, but I don't wear wigs for the summer, like the spring or whatever, because mm -mm. my hair is thick and I already have a lot of it. So it makes me feel like it's a bird nest or something on me. I don't know. I don't want to have to be in, so I'm going to move this forward. 
Yeah, but I don't want to have to uh, be, I don't want to have to uh, put all of that, um, tuck your hair with the, the stocking caps and I, I like for my hair to breathe. I don't like a lot of clothes on in the winter, in the summertime and I don't like a lot of hair in the summertime. Something really basic and simple is what I go for. I do like ponytail pieces. And for the most part, I just natural. I wear my own hair. And uh, like I said, this is my face. It may look concealer or something. So this right here is my hair, right? And I put it in Bantu knots. Because it's easy for me to do. And I can wear this outside. And you don't have to have like the ports specific you know they don't have to be straight or anything because i was just trying to hurry up and get off my feet because my feet were swollen i had these so much and you can just these knots these cur the curls in these bantu knots are going to last for a very very long time uh really they last a long time and then when they start falling it gets better so i just put bantu knots in here uh and i'm taking some out now because I need to redo it real quick. But it has its own curl. So the longer you keep it in, it's the curlier it'll get. Which will help that hold, right? So um, the only thing I put in there is olive oil and water. My hair after I condition it. Nothing else. And I didn't put too much olive oil in it. So what I'll do is take the sheen, the olive oil sheen spray. And I will... Um, I will put it in there, but I just twist it. I don't know if you all can see me doing it. I just twist like that, and then I'll just take it and wrap it around. Wrap it around. And as you can see, that's my Bantu knots. And I just have Bantu knots, because you can wear headbands with these, and it feels good to your head, because... Ooh, those wigs and weave and all of that women we gotta let the hair breathe so i have my little bandanas that i'll put on here and i may do something like this you know i may do something like that and wear it like that put some little cute earrings on with it and wear it like that right so i got a lot of headbands and scarves and all type of things so you can do something like this put it on there make your face up and it's easy and and, and just quick to go right you can do this like i thought i was going to have a meeting this morning i'm gonna have to wrap it around and i was like oh my god so you know i have a lot of these that's already you know, I got these from a woman. Uh, what was her name? Uh, she's on Instagram, and she make these homemade. She makes these personally, and I bought a couple of from her, and I love them. It's just that sometimes this is like a little heavy, but she has a lot of them uh, that she makes. Uh, some lighter, some that if you got long hair, it comes. You know, your locks or whatever, it it'll go out there. So. Yeah, uh, she, I'll, I'll have to find her information, but she makes these herself handmade, and I bought a, like four or five of them from her. So, and you can have it sitting back if you want to, you know, so it's just little things like that that you can put on your head that's easy. And I just twist it around. So when it's time to take them out, I'll sheen it up. And you can also do this, all right? And you can do it like this. And you can put it in like that. Yeah. Or, I said I was gonna find how to do this with with this or whatever, this little bow. And I just thought about that. You maybe can put that on. And you see, I never opened this. So I don't know what's in here. But I'm about to find out. Because it seems like it's gray too, right? I 
And I maybe should have had my scissors. My sinuses are killing me, guys. So that's what today is going to be about. Organization and, and, and playing with some little colors and different things. And why come I can't open it? It is really, really tight. Okay, I'm getting it off. And I got this from the Crisis Nursery. Now, this is right here is what we do. You know, uh, empower families to be together, to stay together in their time of needs. You know, in whatever situation it is, we come to assist with them. So we always have little things um, that you... Okay, I think I'm just going to have to tear it open like this because it's really tight and I can't get into it. I like my purple pen. I'm a purple girl, like for real. Okay, I didn't see. Oh, this is beautiful. They must have known I love purple. Oh, I thought that was a bracelet. But it's not. But shoot, you could have made it. I could have had it just the way it was. But I think I liked it because where's the attachment to where you can... Oh, my. Is it magnetic? magnetic oh look at this it's magnetic oh my so, so I could make it out of a bracelet if I wanted to Wow, this is so nice. This is nice. Look at that. Oh my gosh. See, this is this is so cool. Like, you see how I'm so shy. And it's magnetic. Pretty. Oh, this is so nice. I'm going to have to call them. I did not know it was magnetic jewelry. Oh, my gosh. So, I can string it. This is nice. Look at that. Oh. That is so pretty. It was so nice and thoughtful. Here I am thinking they're earrings. Oh, and I'll be making those jewelry, the jewelry things too. I make those as well. Uh, me and my mom and my sister Darlene, she would make them too. The little bead things. Because, you know, those are expensive. I love Hobby Lobby, right? And I get my stuff from Hobby Lobby. And I got some projects that I'm going to be doing too for uh, you guys and letting you see in my bedroom that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, so stay tuned. Like I said, it's a lot of things. I should have had them scissors and I don't feel like getting up to get them. I may have to though. If I open another thing. Oh, these are cute. Look at these. These are cute. Let's see. We're going to play makeup and dress up today, y'all. Uh. 
See, I am just now seeing what's in here because I had no clue. That is so cute. Oh, it's two sets. Oh, it's, look, it's two sets. That is so cute. And I want me the mirror that has the jewelry box, the jewelry thing in it to where you can hang all of your stuff. It's a little pricey on Amazon. I think I seen it on the TikTok shop as well. Okay. Why well, you're not going in? And yes, my ear is split. Somebody's child did that. Nisha Glenn's child did it. Uh, he was a baby and I had some big earrings on and he went and, and yanked it out. Yeah. A mirror. A little bad, but. Uh, let me show you the other ones. I am so, I, I have little jewelry boxes too, because like I said, I do jewelry and I was selling jewelry and all of that. So, look at this. You see these earrings? Isn't that cute? And this really matches the necklace. You see, and it has purple in it, but it can match the, the black as well, right? That was so nice and thoughtful. It really was. Look at this little bow. Cause see, I can, I can wear it just like this with my little Bantu knots. And here is, I really should have had these scissors here. And this is a necklace. Oh, I am going to be wearing this. I think this is so cute. I don't like when the thing, it gets tangled though, because my patience is nothing. Look at this. That's so cute. That's really cute. Yeah, that is so cute. But yeah. Now, I don't know how it will look without the scarf. Let's see. That thing's supposed to go. I don't know. I'm saying M I C K E Y M where you can see. Yeah, that's what it looks like, Mickey Mouse. But I'm going to whew. That feels so much better when there's absolutely nothing on my head, right? And then I can just lay my edges down right and let it be curly and take it out. And yeah, so this is what you're going to be seeing from now on is me in my natural state because, again, in the summertime, I don't like to have a lot of hair or somebody else's hair in my head uh, unless I do like braids. But I don't even want braids unless they're like big braids and kind of like braids and stuff that you can do this. I just need for my scalp to breathe, you know. It just needs to breathe. So uh, that's what I do. I just keep my hair like this because then I can throw my baseball hats on without a problem. I wear sun hats to protect my um, my face from the sun. So yeah, I, it's a lot of things that I wear. That's my phone. I'm like, what is that? That's my phone. But yeah, so we're going to get, I was, I'm so shocked. I'm going to have to call and be like, you know what? Because Diane retired this month. A couple of days ago was her last day 
she's been with the company for 30 years, St. Louis Crisis Nursery. And I am the chairman of the board on the St. Louis Crisis Nursery uh, Parent Advisory Board, right? So, uh, like I said, we do a lot of things. So, if you guys know someone here within the metropolitan St. Louis area, St. Louis, Missouri area, that is in need of assistance with, you know, children with uh, day, well, daycare, you know, because we do have resources for that. But we also... Uh, if you're just stressed and overwhelmed, and this goes for men as well, and you need for your child to go somewhere, I can guarantee you that they're going to be safe, you know, because we do have um, uh, little places. We have places, uh, sites where you can go and get a break and, you know, drop the kids off so you won't hurt them or, you know, or anything like that. So it's very family focused, right? So, uh, men as well, we encourage men because there's a lot of single men out there. So whatever we can do to assist, let me know. Uh, I'll probably post the flyer as well at the end of this video. So you guys can see if you or if you know anyone that's within, again, St. Louis metropolitan area and is needing assistance with, you know, uh, life. That's why this channel is Life and with Stacey C because... Life just deals us all type of turns and we just don't know. Sometimes we don't have that support, but I can say there, it is like a family and we do support one another. So again, I will be posting that information as well at the end of this video. But back into this, right? So I done found all type of stuff. Now again, I told you that I use a specific brand of makeup. So this right here is Black Radiance. And I can I can tolerate this. So you can see it's brand new. And it kind of shows you how to contour. Because this is the palette contour. The contour palette. So I have... Oh, what is this? Okay, what film? Okay, and I don't know. What, what is this? Oh, my eyeglass chain. I really need to use this because I'm losing glasses like crazy. I forgot, see, I forgot about that I had an eyeglass chain. It would have been helpful because they still haven't gave me my eyeglasses back from uh, Mercy Hospital on Kennerly Road. Mercy, can you please send me my glasses back? I paid a lot of money for those glasses. I'm going to call them again. Okay, so this is wet and wild. It was okay. And this is just like a highlighter, a bronzer, right, for my skin. Now, I'll use this. Just to, you know, for the, uh, and these are different shades for like winter, summer, right? So I'll use this to just, uh, kind of give me that glow type of look. Um, and this right here is also a bronzer, but it is from Black Radiance, right? So this is a darker one for when, like when you get darker, like for me in the summertime, like, I'm darker now because I was out there in that sun, so my skin gets darker. So I just get palettes to go with my skin complexion for that season. And I love Black Radiance products. So again, this is new blush. Uh, this is the blush. What else? And these are just, because I'm so specific, but now I can organize them. This right here is Elf. I can also use Elf. And the young lady that did my makeup for that fashion show, uh, for that fashion event or whatever, she got me because she was using Elf products. So she was the one that actually started me on Elf and was telling me how, you know, safe it is and it's not animal tested, you know, and all of that. So I, I look for all of that when I am um, buying makeup. And this is my sewing kit for me because I sew. Uh... And I take this, this is the travel pack. So when I'm out, you know, sometimes when you're out and about and you're going to, flying from different places and you, you're leaving and you you have your sewing stuff here because I do have a sewing machine, but you need to have it on you just in case because anything happens. So this right here is nothing but what, what? Beads and uh, hair, excuse me, hair things. That's it. And I love these 
If you all come across these at Walmart, please let me know. I love these earrings. These are my everyday go-to earrings. They're like $5 to $4 at, I think like $5 at Walmart. Walmart. And I'm going to tell you, I have to go and get some more. But since I have not had a car, it's hard for me to go, you know, to go and get them. And I don't see them online. But please, if y'all come across this, let me know. Let me know. I love these. Again, Elf. I need to open it. Like, everything I still have. And some, like, sponges for the makeup. And here's another. What is this? So, I'm just organizing it. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. So, just to organize my, my cosmetics again. And here's another Elf product. Uh, Wet and Wild. I need to get my eyebrows done because I usually go over it and just put like that white crease right up in here. And I found out that if you put a concealer or something right there, like on top of it, it will give you a better brow definition. And you can, you know, put that right there. So sometimes you won't even need that. But I'm old school. We was we would do that, right? So, and my things, I need to wash these. They need to be washed. And I need to buy some more. So, yeah. Uh, nail glue. Because I also do my own nails and put... They, we used to call them Lee Press on nails. But, you know, I think they... I don't know what they call them now. But I, I buy so many... I got so many things of nails and I have to organize that as well to where it's, I don't like to go to the, to the nail shops for one, the chemicals that's in there makes me messes with me really bad. And my allergies, I end up feeling weird when I go out of there. I don't get my eyebrows arched anymore. I get them threaded. So, uh, that way, you know, when we get older, we lose eyebrows or whatever. So it's better for me to get them threaded. People like, it did hurt from the beginning. But this woman named Roya, she's really good. And she doesn't, she'll do mine and she doesn't really hurt me. So, because uh, I was like, no. And this is the liquid eyeliner by Elf. Uh, and these right here, I need to throw these away. And these are the Elf um, eyebrow things or whatever right so you just it's for the bra and lashes so it's mascara clear mascara and then it's the clear bra thing so i usually like to set it to set your eyebrows so i usually just use um those to set to make it stay to kind of like tame it and it is some more and i didn't i didn't realize that i had so many of them uh and this one, I love this one. You see how small it is? I got this from Avon. I need to go back and order some more from Avon. And again, some more liquid uh, liner. More pencils. And this is a brush. Like I said, I need to clean my brush. I need to set them with the other brushes that I got. But these are just brushes, right? So I'm going to probably make one of them... For just uh, maybe brushes and pencils, eyeliner pencils. I don't know. Uh, and that was all that was in this one. So I got to organize that, right? And in this little bitty one. Let's see. I got it stuck. How did I do that? How did, okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna have some fun. My clips. You know, I was looking for these when I was doing my hair. And my chapstick. I love the chapstick. And you know what I'm going to do? These little band, these little uh, rubber thingies or whatever, I'm going to put them over in here so I can know where they at. And I got my pins that needs to go into here. Yeah, not there so they can stick me. Now I 
me to put these glasses back on doing this. Okay, and, these, and I use these too when I travel. These come in good for hand soap. And when I was working in the healthcare field, my own soap because I didn't always like or could use other their soap when they have you to wash your hands when you go into a patient's home. So I would use my, bring my own soap myself. So that was all that was in there, right? So now I can organize these and I can find what I'm looking for easily without having to say okay where is this and where is that and you know so i'm just trying to get some structure here again and it's only been a month you know so i think i did pretty good i'm doing pretty good so like i said i am going to be doing some things and i'm fashion shows i'm going to be going traveling a lot of different things or whatever so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me so I can share that experience with you all. Like I'm sharing now. And this one right here. It's a lot of stuff in here that I need to take out. Um, but I did like the fact. And I don't You see. I don't know if you all can see this. But you, you see all this stuff in here? Look at all this stuff in here. So as I say I do. We got lashes. Another goal for me to put these individuals on myself, right? Myself, uh, because I don't like uh, going to the shop. Here it is, my nail stuff, right? You see, I put them on myself. I'm not going to pay you to put my nails on. And I also have the stickers, like the nail stickers. And I create designs myself. And I have a foot thing. So I have like a whole spa setup thing, right, for myself. Like, so I won't have to go there. Don't have to pay them. Don't have to them talking about us. You know, just all type of stuff and just the 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 smell of the formidra hide. And I can't use that. Like, I don't use that glue because it has latex in it. I'm allergic to latex. Can't have that. But just some earrings. Um, and it was some more little things right here. But I can also use Rimmel, right? And I love these colors because I love shadows and I love these colors. They're like neutral colors, but I like bold ones too. I just need to learn how to do it myself. Hold on one second. Hello? Hello? Okay, Michelle. We're not going to talk today, Michelle. Okay. Yeah, but... Uh, sorry about that, guys. I thought that was somebody else. I thought that was my doctor's office because it had that 636 number, but it wasn't. So, and I have all of my things to work with. And I sit up in here and I, I just pamper myself. And it's, I love to go. And my friend gave me these. And she said, she, this girl, she keeps stuff forever. Uh, and I told her sometimes, look, pack rat, you need to uh, throw some of that stuff away because it don't make sense. And this right here is a clip for your hair. And this is mascara. So I just have to sort through my things and I love BB. So here is the nail polish, but BB, you better do better with this nail polish. Cause I'm gonna tell you, it's cheap. It don't last. It don't last on you. Like immediately it'll come off. So I'm gonna need for y'all to do better, but I do love these colors. You know, 
And this is my face stuff, CeraVe, but I haven't used it because that's some scared it may break me out. I gave it to my mother, but I need to make a dermatologist appointment to go see a dermatologist to see what's best for my skin. Um, and that is my son. Rico, I'm doing a video, so I'm going to have to call you back, honey. So yeah, guys, sorry about the interruptions. And again, black radiance. I'm gonna throw this away because I got some more. But I have my specific brands and my hair scrungy things for my hair. Uh, and here's the nail polish. But again, like I said, BB, you need to do better. But this right here is my lip glosses, right, from BB. Now these were okay. They were okay with these, right? So I have to sort through all of these. Um, and here's some more stickers that you can put on your nails and your feet. Yeah. And that's trash. And these are little things that I, when I travel with for my medicine, I just carry that with me. I'll fill them up. More stickers that you can put on your nails. Let's see. Let me see if I can show you guys. Oh, this is really pretty. I may want to use this for. Okay. And this is some more lip gloss from BB. But I'm going to take it all out because. I want you to see the and see I, when I was working at Ross, I bought all of it's a whole set of lipstick, lip gloss, right? And I'm a lip gloss person. And this all of this came came with it. I think it's some more. But yeah, I am, um, let me see. Okay, and this right here. Now I may keep these lip glosses. Or was this for the brushes? I think this could have been for the brushes. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna show you all. I'm gonna show you all and you tell me if it's for the brushes. I got old vitamins that I need to throw out. Even though I need some more vitamins, right? I'm gonna take those. Throw that out for my feet, my nails, and stuff again. A piece of hair, real estate it's braid that I just took off. And this is some more beads for my hair. Where am I going to put this at? I'm going to sit this right here. And then I have this. Now, this is so tangled, but this is a body chain. And I have it hanging up because the fact of the matter, because it gets this tangled, and that's why I have it hanging up. But I had wore it one somewhere no I, i've wore this many times before but uh i don't know i may just have to throw it away and get another one because it's so tangled but i wanted you all to see how it looks okay come on work with me okay so 
yeah, this is a body chain. This is the body chain, right? You put it on your body. I have it right at first. Put it on your body. And it's just like a little accessory. Right? So, I'm going to leave it out just like that. And it's a body chain. So, yeah, here we go. So, I'm going to put it right there and continue on with this. So, look at this. This is Bad Black Radiance 2. Perfect. Let me put these glasses on because, honey, I'm having a time. Okay. So, yeah, this is Bad Black, you know, and uh these do you know makeup does have expirations on it but this is black radiance and i love this color that color i love it on my skin you know so um and that's another BB, and that's going to go over there. And this is the, it's called Duo. So this is the lash uh, glue that I use because it's, uh, don't have latex in it or from Hydra High. And it's hard to find in different places, but I got this from Amazon. I get mine from Amazon. And they actually have like a two-pack, so the things that I can like my hair stuff or whatever, I always seem to find it on Amazon and I'll use that because when I go into the stores, I can't find it. Or they always have something that got shea butter and uh, coconut oil and I can't have either one, which is so probably good for me and it'll help me out in a lot of different ways, but I'm allergic to it. So unfortunately I can't have it. So I pretty much have to come up with my own concoctions or get stuff that's going to work for me. And my beautician that I have, her name is, Coney, and she has a, a salon here in St. Louis, Missouri on Gravois, and it's called Styles for You Salon. And when I get my hair done, my own hair, <clears throat> or even when I get my bobs or something like that, she's the one that does it, and she is phenomenal. Um, she is phenomenal. Like, I just, like, <laughs> I've been going to her for years. Like, I don't go anywhere else because she knows my hair. She knows how to treat it. She uh, grows it. It's just, it's when I tell you, they say black women don't have bouncy hair or whatever. I don't know if they're saying that anymore, but baby, this hair be bouncing. It be the bounce for me. I can just do this and the hair just bouncing and it just flows. So, yes, uh, I'll be back there soon, Coney. I will, boo-boo. Uh, Wedding wow, because I asked her, I said, can we do more natural styles? And she was like, yeah. So she basically, basically customizes what I want because she knows that I don't like but a short hairstyle, baby. She will slay. She do natural hair. She do prosthetics. She do prosthetics in your head. When I find her court, Styles for You Salon, and it's spelled different, but I don't have my, you know what? But I got Instagram. I do have Instagram. Hold on. And I can show you guys better than I can tell you with a cord, right? Look at her repping 314. Okay, boo. And that is Coney. Styles for You Salon. And this is just some of her work. She is a beast baby. When I tell you. This is her. Coney. 
And that's my beautician. And she's been my beautician and my children's beautician forever. Like forever when they were little kids. But she will do, she can do any type of stare to finger wave. She is just bad with, right? So that's how it's spelled. Styles for you salon. Go check out. Look her up. Uh, she stay booked though, for real, because she that bad. So that just tells you how <laughs> clientele is crazy. So these are my other ones from, uh, this is wet and wow, but I liked it. So, and this is black radiance again. And as you can see, most of these are black radiance. That's what I use. And they're not really expensive either, but I like that they don't have all of this other stuff in it and I can tolerate it. So I stick with what I know, right? So that's going to be right there. And this is pretty, this is Black Radiance too, it's a purple. Yeah. And this is brand new, I haven't even opened this. It's a lot of things that I don't, it's brand new and I haven't opened because I forgot I had it or, you know, I don't know. So. I kind of like experiment with the different makeup. I'll combine them and do something different with them. I'll mix two or three colors together to get something different. Yeah, so, but this is my all-time favorite, this gold. Mm hmm It's very simple, but bold enough to stand out, right? And I can mix it with red and whatever colors. And this is that popping red. That's red. That's red in ain't it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. But I have a pink color. And that's not all of it. The other ones in there that I have for the pretty and pink. That's also black, black radiance. And I'm going to tell you, I went to Atlanta. And baby, they gave me compliments after compliment after compliment on that, that color. Right? And they were like, that is such a pretty color on you. And I was like, well, thank you so much. Um, and this is Elf. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but it the black kind of like this. But see, one thing about this, you got to know what you're doing. Because I already have the dark rings up under my eyes, right? Baby, I would look like a whole panda bear trying to put this on myself. Yes, a whole panda bear as if I don't look like one anyway because of these adult circles up under my eyes, right? So I had some more. I had some more palettes like that that I seen before, but now I just can't seem to find them now. Where did they go? I had to have had it out because I seen them. Like, I've seen them, so. Were they in here? Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I knew I had seen them. So now we're, we're right on track, right? So this right here is another one. This is my pencil sharpener. And I'm just going to keep these in here. But just like before, you see those colors? These are very spring-like colors. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. I love a good shadow. Love a good shadow. So when my daughter comes now, she'll be like, okay, mama, you step your game up. You got more makeup. I think that's so cute, the little clip. You can put the clip in your head. And these right here are my brushes. Now, my cup is at my mother's house for these brushes. So that's why I said I want to learn how to do it myself. So I bought myself some brushes to, you know, begin that practice. Start looking at YouTube or start looking at people's videos uh, to show me how to do it. 
And if you are one of my subscribers or if you're not, help a sister out, okay? Help me out. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you are a subscriber, let me know. Drop a comment down below. If you know someone that does know how to, you know, do makeup and they're not a subscriber, tell them about it so they can subscribe and come on and, you know, give me those insights because we are all here to help one another, right? That is the goal. That is the goal is to help one another, teach one, right? So, again, that was pretty much it, guys, for today. That was pretty much it. Because now I got to get to organizing because it's stuff all over my couch and I don't like that. And it's stuff everywhere. So the OCD is kicking in. So yeah. But I will be doing another video to show you all when I take these down, right? How, they, how they're going to look. So I'll let you guys know that. And you see how spongy my hair is? <laughs> It'll bounce right back. Boing. It'll bounce right back, right? So... That's, that's all I have for today. And again, thank you for subscribing with Life and with Stacy C. And, uh, or if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. But, do, uh, but to my subscribers, I thank you all. I appreciate you all so much, you know. Um, and again, uh, be waiting for that video because it's going to come out. I'm going to have to do something with this to try to see. Because it's dry now to try to see if um, how it's going to look. I may have to do some more things. But, you know, that's natural hair. You just never get what you aim for. It's like a, a bonus if you do. So, again, you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Hit that like, subscribe button, share, comment down below. And until next time. Mwah. Okay, this is when I arrived there and I was getting my makeover. I had to see the two cornrows. And this is afterwards when I went out. So you can see the full effect. And this is the scarf that I got from there. But my sister Lisa did this makeup. Uh, I did my hair, but I this is the scarf or whatever. And this is the crisis nursery. So if you know anyone that needs assistance or help, please feel free to give them that information.